Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. This is a special edition, and we're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Breaking news today, Rob Van Dam, Katie Forbes, no longer with Impact Wrestling. I had a feeling this was going to happen. Uh, if you listen to my last two podcasts, I touched upon uh, the current situation with Rob Van Dam and Katie Forbes. Uh, as you know, they were taken off the Impact Wrestling roster page. Rob Van Dam has mentioned in a um, an interview that he recently did that he lost his passion for professional wrestling, that he has a few things on the go with the WWE, a couple of projects he's working on, and... Uh, Breaking news today, he is no longer with Impact Wrestling. Apparently, they were working on a uh, series of short-term agreements with Impact Wrestling, uh, but those have ended, and he says he's fulfilled his obligations along with Katie Forbes. The current storyline uh, with Sammy Callahan has, has ended, so he said he has no more obligations with Impact Wrestling. So, once again, Rob Van Dam, Mr. I'm only giving it 40%. Rob Van Dam and Katie Forbes no longer with Impact Wrestling. So what does that mean? What does it mean for for Impact Wrestling? It means they have a lot more money left to go out and get some young, exciting talent and uh, get a whole lot better. And get a whole lot better. Rob Van Dam has stated that he, again, no longer has a passion for pro wrestling. You don't want a guy like that on your roster. Granted, he has the name, but if he's only going to go in and give 40%, then you don't want a guy like that on your roster. So thank you very much for your for your contributions to Impact Wrestling, Rob Van Dam, Katie Forbes. Uh, but um, I think it was just time to um, to cut the cord on the relationship, and both Impact Wrestling and Rob Van Dam and Katie Forbes to go their separate ways. Uh, so where's Rob Van Dam going to go? I mean, people are already saying on social media that uh, hey, Rob Van Dam should go to AEW. I mean, what is he going to do in AEW? Uh, he already doesn't have passion for professional wrestling anymore. Uh, what do you think? He's going to go to AEW and have a five-star match with, with Kenny Omega? That's that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. And I know he said he's working on a couple of projects with the WWE, but uh, are we really going to see him back wrestling in the WWE? I mean, are, are we going to see him at Crown Royal uh, whatever, or Crown Jewel or whatever the, the Saudi Arabia pay-per-view is called? Is he going to main, main event against Goldberg? Or is he, he going to main event against The Undertaker? Uh, come on. Um, but, but bottom line, bottom line, it's a... It's a um, it's a big plus for Impact Wrestling, in my opinion, because now they, like I said, they have more money, they can spend it properly. Uh, you could get um, one, you could get one name, bring one name in, but but spend it on young talent. Um, and I've mentioned names before. There's a lot of young talent out there that they could bring in instead of trying to go out and get an established star that has lost their passion for professional wrestling, like Rob Van Dam. Maybe they could try to develop, bring in five, six young indie stars and try to develop their own impact wrestling stars and make their own impact wrestling names now is the time to do it that's my opinion and on that note i'm going to say thank you very much for listening to this special edition of shooting up north i'm your host lewis carlin and until next time thank you very much take care bye bye stay safe everyone so long bye bye <laughs>